how are you doing today? That's good. So, welcome to Dylan's uh, gun shop and gunsmithing. Um, this is our handgun selection before you here. Um, and, and don't don't worry, there's some out of there, there's some ahead of these two, but I have a decent amount of uh, guns here. If you'd like to see our long gun selection, it's in the back. And if you'd like, we have a wide uh, variety of ammo for these guns here. Is there anything in particular you're looking to purchase for today? Okay. Um, since you're kind of just looking, I, I'll try to keep some of the, I'll keep some of the styles together and just kind of show you from there. I'll start off um, with some carry guns, just more, more practical, and like I said, we'll just kind of go from there, show you a little bit of, uh, a little bit of what we got, and I think, uh, like I said, you can peruse these, you can, uh, I'll, I'll hand you any if you want to touch them. And sort of play around with them, but I'll get right into it. So I'm actually going to start off um, with this bad boy over here. We do have a holster that comes with it. So this is a Kydex holster, if you're unfamiliar. It is kind of like a hard plastic, so that way the gun... Um, it, it locks in there, but, like, just by, so it has re retention is what it's called, but holds the gun pretty nice. Um, you can put this appendix carry, uh, carry it on your side, back, it doesn't matter. Got a little hook here. Um, so this is a package deal for us. Let me... Make sure the weapon's clear. Alright, so we are clear. This right here is the P365. Uh, for the more compact carry guns, this is what I'm going to recommend. Um, and the reason is, it comes with, this is a 10 round magazine, which, I mean, if you can see, I have kind of small hands, but if you can see, it's really no bigger than the size of my hand. It's a very small gun, 10 round capacity. Um, it feels great. Um, and you can just, like I said, you could conceal this very easily. Now, it's 10 rounds with a flush fit magazine. Um, it also comes with It comes with the one I have in the gun and one here. It comes with two 12-round magazines. Now this is, sticks out a little bit because we have two extra rounds in it. But nonetheless, um, it's still very compact. I mean, and like I said, even with the 12-round magazine, it doesn't affect the holster. So it comes with one 10-round, two 12-rounds, holster. And while I'm here showing you, we have a gold Zafiri barrel. I just call it Sapphire, but I guess the proper name is Zafiri. And then this is the Grey Guns. It's a special uh, textured grip module for that. So, uh, overall great carry gun. And this one does if you're in the market for them, um, it has a little safety on the side here, if you if you like carrying guns with a safety. So just, again, overall very small, compact um, gun, and this is my recommendation for, like, everyday carry. Small, you don't even really know it's there. Alrighty, so 
just showed you the P365. I'll keep it on the compact side. Um, and I'm actually going to start off with this one that I have here, Cheers Player. So this is the Glock 43. And it really, it's the same thing. It's about the size of my hand. Um, now, it comes with a, so again, we call it flush fit because it fits the Magwell flush. It comes with a flush fit six round magazine. And this has a pinky extension, but it's still six rounds. So that way you can uh, get your pinky on there a little better. But nonetheless, it's again, it's a small gun. It's Glock, um, so you know it's you know it's reliable. Uh, this was like sort of the carry gun a lot of people used before the 365 came out, and that's because this is only six rounds. Uh, well, the 365 is the same size, and it can carry 12 rounds, double the capacity. It's debatable, but in a self-defense situation, six rounds, is it's debated if that's enough. Um, but regardless, it's about the same size as a gun that carries twice its capacity, so... A lot of people, like I said, this was sort of like the carry gun, and now that's transitioned. So, it's a Glock. It's reliable. Um, but for around the same price and around the same size, my recommendation would be the 365 still. But if you do decide to go with this, like I said, it has a six round. Uh, two six rounds, one has a pinky extension on it. So I will put him out of the way while I'm on carry guns here. Just make sure my weapons are clear before I hand them to you. This is the Smith & Wesson, um, this is a Springfield. This is the, yeah, the M&P Shield mine. So this is the Gen 1. Um, they do have the Gen 2 out now, um, which is, it's a little more money, but this one's fairly inexpensive. It comes with a, this one's a, a flush fit seven round magazine, or we have a eight round magazine with it. Um, now this, this holds eight rounds, and it is a little, again, for like my hand comparison, this, this one is bigger than my hand, um, but the price point at this is significantly cheaper than, say, a clock. Um, this will only set you back about two, three hundred bucks, so this one's very inexpensive. It's still Smith & Wesson, so it's a good, uh, reputable company, and at the same time, it's not gonna, it'll, it'll, um, That'll sort of do what you need it to do for self-defense. Um, like I said, eight rounds, so decent capacity, at, but at a very affordable price point. So that's where this sort of uh, gets its draw from. So I'll set that off to the side for you. Just to sort of let you think these over. Um, I guess we'll go with, we'll go up here for a second. Alrighty. So this is the Smith & Wesson um, MMP Bodyguard in 380. And hand comparison, this is actually smaller than my hand. So very small gun. Now, the trigger on this, um, and again, We are clear. The trigger on this is a very long eight pound trigger. So I'm actually kind of struggling 
and that is so you don't if you do put this in your pocket or something um, it doesn't just go off um, you really have to try and push that trigger in for it to go off we have a little six round magazine with a small pinky extension that comes with it and this is a seven round magazine uh, kind of sticks out a little bit but even my hands you kind of want a little extension to get that pinky on here um, great small little gun it's called the 380 because it's chambered in 380 which is a smaller caliber um, a lot a lot of what I've noticed in the gun shop is a lot of women prefer 380 um, depends a lot on the size of the gun and everything but the consensus seems to be 9 mil um, in a lady's hands is a little too much sometimes so a lot of women will prefer 380 nothing wrong with it and it's a still a good self-defense round but it's a little less snappy than a nine millimeter so that's the bodyguard 380 if you're interested let's see I guess I'll stick it right in front of me while I'm here so this is the Taurus GX4 and comparison it's uh, about the size of the 365 now this comes with the 11 round mag actually two 11 round mags um, and again the nice thing with this is it's a great gun it'll it works perfectly fine um, I've never had any issue with it you can change out the back strap if you want a bigger or smaller one and again the price point on this is three hundred dollars so um, something like the 365 is six hundred dollars so this is a very good gun for the price point um, I feel like they could easily charge more for this but it's a great gun um, like I said you'll have no problems carrying this and 11 round capacity for three hundred dollars again um what's really what's not to love there so for the carry pieces i this is a good recommendation as well what's next for you i'll mix it up a little bit so while you while you can carry this and some people do I'm, I'm not gonna recommend it so this is the bond arms this is the rowdy model it is a derringer is what it's called and it's a very very small gun um, and comparison for you a lot of people use these as like boot guns or you just put it in your pocket the problem is it's chambered in 410 shotgun ammo and out of this little tiny barrel that can be quite a powerful blast um, not only that so you're gonna have to manage recoil but not only that it's only two shots um, and with the size of this barrel it's not necessarily accurate so if you are using this if you're using this for target practice or just a fun gun just 200 bucks um, if you want it for just like something fun yeah I recommend this if you're planning on carrying this you just you need to make sure that you are very close uh, to your target and with two shots you better be accurate so I would recommend something like this as a more fun gun um, than a carry gun but do each their own already 
see. Um, Alright, so next up, I have the Glock 43X, chambered in 9mm. Um, this is actually the MOS version, which means you can put a light on it. And this has already been upgraded, so it has a better magazine release. It comes standard with two 10 round magazines. And this is, this is where one of my pet peeves with Glock is, this is a 10 round magazine, I'll show it to you. This right here is an aftermarket one that a competitor has made, identical in size, and this holds 15 rounds. So I think Glock is a very good gun, and don't get me wrong, if you buy this today, it's you'll have no problems with it. I just feel like Glock needs to innovate more. Um, when you look at the 365, um, they're doing phenomenal things, and Glock is very, rather than make a, you know, bigger capacity magazines or, you know, change things up, all they're really doing is, like if you've seen the new 47 that just came out, all they're doing is just, they're just, oh, they'll take like this frame and just put a longer slide on there and call it a new gun. And they didn't, they didn't innovate anything. It's the same trigger, it's the same everything. But regardless, if you have the aftermarket mag, which if you buy it here today, you will, it is flush fit 15 rounds. So this is a very good um, hand comparison. It's a very good capacity gun. Um, 15 rounds is plenty. It's a good small, um, thin gun here, and overall, I think this is something you'll uh, you, sh you should absolutely enjoy if you buy. Like I said, it comes with two 10-round magazines and a 15. So, um, like I said, you'll that's a, it's an enjoyable gun. Check the time real quick here. Yep, yeah, the store's open for plenty more hours. Um, let's see. I will, I'll just do it. So, this right here, move our other guns aside here. Um, this right here is the Palmetto State Armory Dagger. So, I'll show you a Glock 19 in just a minute, but this is based off of the Glock 19, and it is significantly cheaper. Um, this only, this came in around $300, and the one you see here has a OD green slide and a threaded barrel. Um, that's literally just a, literally just a cap on the front here that comes off if you want to put a suppressor or anything. Um, nice thing is it just takes regular Glock mags. This is a 15 round mag. Um, well, the nice thing is because it just it accepts Glock mags, we do have a 33 round um, in stock. If you want to get a little crazy with things, but it accepts Glock mags. It's half the cost of a Glock. Uh, like I said, this is coming in at $300. And the nice thing with Palmetto is even if you don't want this one in particular, what we can do is we can order you one. It can be with or without a threaded barrel. The slides, I mean, there's a black slide, green slide like this, um, tan, silver, a little bit of everything, 
for slides, um, but set of clog mags. And really, it's about half the price, so you want this to be like a truck gun or something like that. Um, it's a great pick as well. Um, well, since I mentioned it, this was a trade in, so it is all ready to go. Um, it has everything you'll ever need for it. So, we are clear. Um, this is a Glock 19 Generation 5. Um, and like I said, we are clear. Um, this one comes with, so it has a 15 round magazine, which is flush fit. I already showed you the 30, uh, three rounder. And we also have a, this is a 15 round mag with a plus two extension, which brings us out to 17 rounds. It's a nice full size gun. Um, I recommend something like this for like winter time if you're carrying, um, just that way with like a jacket, it's easier, it's easier to carry um, and conceal. We do have the TRL-1 HL light, and you with a flick of your finger, you now have a flashlight. And I'm not gonna do it to you, but if you hold this down twice real quick, it strobes, um, which can really disorient a person, so I'm not gonna do that to you. If you hold it down, it, you can let your finger off and the light is on, but if you hold it up, as soon as you release, it'll turn the light off. So, it's it's a very nice light, just attached right to the gun. This is a um, holster, so it comes with a holster for the gun and the light. Got a belt clip here, or you can even just clip this to your pants if you want. But like I said, it is a little bit more, it's a bigger gun. So if you're gonna carry something like this, I'd recommend having a jacket or something of the sort. So, set that aside. Um, while I'm in the the topic of them. I'll show you some of the latest and greatest. So this is a this is a P365 XL. Um, this has a flush fit 12 round magazine as I've demonstrated there. Now the nice thing with this gun is we have a little bit bigger of a magnum than the original 365, and we have a much longer slide as well. Um, you get a little more velocity, more recoil control. Um, now, the thing we can do is they just came out with a brand new macro, and the nice thing is we can just switch out this grip module um, so it'll be more bigger, and you'll now go from a 12 round magazine to this. This is the macro mag. It is 17 rounds. So, while it will work in this uh, XL, it does stick out a little bit. So I just recommend, um, if you want to, like I said, we just take the slide the barrel and the magazine and put it in a macro frame but 17 rounds is very nice um, but if you want the XL uh, sort of as is you don't want a bigger grip XL is a great shooting gun I recommend it um, 
Yeah, just overall nice little gun. Let's see here. If you want, um, this is the P320, the M18 model. This is the current uh, army carry gun. Comes with a flush fit 17 round magazine and two 21 round magazines. Um, it's got night sights already in there. Uh, great shooting gun. It's got a safety if you're into if you're into that. You can easily put a light on here with the rails. And like I said, great shooting gun. Um, it's a full size, so but carrying it, like I said, if you're carrying this like on your side, this obviously this kind of magazine will really stick out. So it's another gun I'd recommend, like maybe winter carry or something. But 21 rounds is a lot of ammo, so if you're into that, this is a great choice. And it doesn't stick out comically long like the 33 round magazine th from the Glock. So, another great choice for carry. Let's see here. Well, it's right in front of me. Here we have a 1911. Um, it's debatable, I'm not going to put my two cents in on it, but some people love for this gun to be their carry gun. Now, it is way bigger than my hand, very, very long slide, it does have a desert tan sort of finish on it, comes with a seven round and eight round. And you literally can't, this is a 15 round. You can't really carry it with this, but if just something silly to take to the range. Um, but eight rounds, this is chambered in 45 ACP, so it's a much bigger, heavier round than a lot of these guns that are chambered in 9mm. Um, I mean, I don't have a problem with it. It's just a big gun. Eight rounds of 45. Um, it's a great shooting gun. I just, for a Kimber, I don't know if I would want to carry it. I think this is more better off as a as a range gun, but uh, to each their own. Alrighty. I guess this is another one. You can carry it. Um, this is a Beretta. This one's the 84 BB. This bad boy is 13 rounds of 380. Um, very very small gun. I'll do the hand test for you. Very small gun. Good capacity of 380. Does have a safety. Um, it's a great gun for the ladies, like I said. Um, small plenty of capacity and 380 um, yeah like I said you'll have no problems with this gun it's just uh, it's a little older now but it does come with uh, two uh, 13 round magazines if you want it and again these these guns have their um, they also come with a box it has 
the cleaning instructions, safety instructions, um, cleaning supplies, and just a case um, just to take all this home with. Alrighty, so the only other gun I have that could potentially be used for carry is this bad boy. This is not for the faint of heart. This is the Taurus Judge. This is chambered in 410 shotgun shells out of a little three inch barrel. This is quite, let me put it this way. It's a lot of gun, but it's not a lot of gun, if you know what I mean. Um, it's got a lot of recoil, but in a self-defense situation, I mean, this, this will definitely help you out. Um, it's not what I would recommend. And again, it's got a really long trigger pull, really hard. So if you just put this in your pocket, um, even if you cock it back and put it in your pocket, you shouldn't have any kind of discharges or anything like that. So good, uh, good kind of pocket carry, but if you're brave enough for 410 as a carry gun, uh, you're a better person than I. So that is our carry like selection. Um, if you want to have a few more here, these are more, I wouldn't carry any of these, but they're just more for fun. Um, like I said, you don't have to make a decision today if there's a gun you do see so you want, if you want multiple guns. Um, like I said, we have plenty of ammo, and I haven't even shown you the long guns yet, but um, like I said, just if you see something you like, just let me know. I can set it aside for you. So, next up, it's a fun one. It's actually really cheap, it's only $150, but it's definitely an eye, uh, an eye grabber in the shop. And that's this bad boy. Most people love it. So this is a 16 inch barrel revolver. It's a Henry. I think this is the Rough Rider. The Heritage Rough Rider, yeah. So. You just slide open this side gate here and twist the barrel, load your rounds in. Um, this is chambered in 22, which I don't recommend for a carry gun. And besides that, this would run down your entire leg if you did try to carry something like this. But for 150 bucks, this is a fun gun if you want to take it out to the range being uh being 22 lr and a long barrel there's no recoil whatsoever it's either just a fun range gun or it's one of those guns you just you have some friends come over and you show them and they don't know what to think of it it's definitely a conversation piece um but really good price tag on that Next up, I'm actually going to show you a little a historical piece that we just had traded in. This is a 1895 Russian Nagant revolver. Now, we're not 100% sure when it was made. It's an 1895 model. However, there is a marking on the side here from 1945 and it's our understanding that this means in 1945 this gun was made before then and in 45 the Russians repurposed it for the war um, so I don't have a hundred percent certainty but this is believed um, that this was actually used in World War II by the Russians 
Um, at the very least, it was repurposed as a war gun, but hard to say if it actually saw any combat use. This is chambered in 7.62 by 38R, um, which is a very bizarre round, which we do actually have ammo for if you want. Um, but more than likely, this gun is at the bare minimum 1945, but it, again, it's believed to be even older than that. And it's a wartime gun. If you're into more historical pieces, um, this has been fired. I've test fired it. And while it does work, it does shoot. I have yet to hit, hit anything with it. I have no idea where it's shooting. But like I said, if you're into a more historical piece to take home, that's sort of, that's where you're at. And next up, if you're, well, we're going to start off with the Desert Eagle here. Now, this one's chambered in 50 Action Express. Um, I'm sure you need no introduction. This is the type of gun in our gun store that... It gets a lot of attention. We get people that come in all the time asking to see it, asking to touch it, you know, rack it. Um, it's just chambered, like I said, in 50 Action Express. It's a, uh, it's a big boy. You can see how big and beefy this magazine is. It's a seven round mag. This is gonna set you back um, a decent chunk of change, but like I said, it's a very iconic gun, um, and you'll, you will have an absolute blast shooting something like this. Um, it really doesn't need much introduction or anything like that. So I'll set that off to the side. And lastly, this is the 500 Smith & Wesson. Um, it's very common on, if you watch YouTube, there's a guy named Kentucky Ballistics. He loves shooting this thing. I've, I've personally taken it to the range, and I'm not a fan. It is a beast to shoot, but... You know, if you're into large caliber guns, um, this is definitely for you. And if nothing else, even if you shoot it and realize you don't like it, um, it's definitely a conversation piece um, to whip this thing out at a party or something like that. You know, while, while normal people are showing off, hey, I just bought a new Glock or something like that, you just, you bring this out and you've kind of won. You've won the party. So, there's that. So that is our handgun selection. And like I said, we have cases for them and everything. Um, extra magazines if you want. I have plenty of ammo for these guns if you'd like as well. And now I guess I will bring out the long guns and show you those. And again, at any point in time, whether it's a long gun, handgun, whatever, if you are interested in purchasing it, just let me know. I'll set it aside for you and we can bring up a total at the end. Okay, sounds good. I'll just, uh, I'll bring those out in just a minute. Alrighty, so. Cut a couple of the long guns out here, and if you don't see anything you like, we have even more in the back. I'm going to start off with some of these. Now, well, I'll just do one at a time here. You may be unfamiliar. This is an AR-15 lower. 
Now, this is the serialized part of the gun that you need a gun shop for. The, if you've seen an AR before, the barrel, the stock, all of it, you can just order and ship it right to your house. This piece right here is what requires me, the uh, FFL, to purchase. Now, what we can do for you, this one here is a tan. I have a black one as well. Um, I can build one for you. So, if you'd like, we can put any kind of stock you want on the back, any kind of trigger if you want a custom. You can make it so it's lighter to pull, harder to pull, whatever. We can make the barrel length. Do you want like a small barrel? Do you want a long barrel? And what caliber? Do you want 556, 300 blackout? Um, and, and so forth. Uh, you can do like 450 SOCOM if you want. Um, but we can kind of customize it to you if you'd want to go that route. It's completely up to you. But if you do go that route, um, that requires, you know, finding the parts, putting them together. It's going to be a little bit more money than just buying something that we already have pre-made. is the AR-15. If you'd like, we also have and very nice packaging. If I can get it out. We also have this. This is an AR-9 lower. This takes Glock magazines but this is meant for 9mm. Um, it's what they call a pistol caliber carbine. So, you can put any Glock mag in this. Um, same thing. You can customize the barrel length, the stock, whatever. Um, it just accepts 9mm. If, if you're into that thing. Or that sort of thing is what I should say. nice in the packaging for whoever does purchase it. So, let's start off with this. Now this right here, make sure the gun's clear here. This right here is just a very, very generic um, AR-15 style rifle. 16 inch barrel. We have a, just a traditional carry handle, very basic stock, uh, and very front sight post. The bird cage on the end, it's just, it's very generic. This right here is from Palmetto, so it actually only set you back about three, four hundred bucks. Um, the nice thing with this is it's technically a blemished kit, however, I can't find a blemish on here anywhere, so they sell them for significantly cheaper than what they cost, so, or what they should cost because they're blemished, but like I said, you'll, ne you'll never find a blemish. Comes with a 30 round magazine. and. Very cheap, very inexpensive, long gun for you. Um, while I'm on the topic of AR-15 platform, I'm gonna whip out this bad boy. Now, the AR-15 is really just this lower here, the serialized part. The nice thing with it is 
there's a lot of different calibers and barrel lengths you can put on top. This is an AR-15 lower, so it's the same lower as the gun I just showed you. However, it takes a much beefier uh, 50 Beowulf. So while this, ra this holds 30 rounds of 5.56, it only holds 10 rounds of 50 Beowulf. So this right here is a 50 caliber AR-15. It's got a crazy big muzzle brake. Um, you can, you hold on to it like that, and this one goes with like a gray aesthetic. We got gray grip, gray stock, and gray furniture. And like I said, it's chambered in a very big 50 Beowulf. So, if you're into that, it was originally designed so that, I believe it was for, I forget what country it was, but one of the countries for like border patrol or military, you could put a 5.56 upper on here for just fighting, and then if you needed to shoot a car engine to disable a vehicle, it's just two pins. You pop, pop the top off, put this 50 Beowulf upper on, and now you can just shoot a car and stop it. So, we have those two. If you're trying to stay more in the practical range, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but a lot of people do like the AK-47 platform. This is chambered in 762 by 39, hence the AK part. Um, it's a little beefier of a round than 5.56. Got side charging. And this is piston operated, so technically you don't have to run a stock at all if you don't want to. But it's it's a debate as old as time uh, if the AK or the AR is better. Um, regardless, both platforms will for what you want them for. Uh, they'll do just fine, but. This is the AK-47, and like I said, you'll have, you'll have no problems with this gun. The nice thing is, this is the kind of gun that you can, um, you can run it through dirt, sand, mud, water, and you really shouldn't have any problems with this. It's a very durable, very reliable gun. While I have the AK platform out, I'll show you this. This is the AK-47's kind of cousin, the AK-74. This is chambered in a smaller round, more comparable to 5.56. It is 5.45. Um, so that's why... If you can see, this rep magazine is more like curved like this rather than like that, like the, AK, the other AK. has a much larger break on the end of it. And the neat thing with this is it has a little pin here. It has a nice little pin here so that you can extend the stock out. So. Um, that's the only difference really between the 47 and the 74 is the caliber. And like I said, this one just has a little different 
furniture with the side folding stock and the bigger muzzle brake. And then while I have you here, I'll just show you everything I got. We tend to get collections traded into us from time to time, and one of those is this. So this is bolt action. This right here is a very old, actually World War I gun. It is the, to be precise, I forget, a Springfield 1916, um, the SMLE Mark III. So this gun is 1916, it's over 100 years old. It is chambered in 303 British. Um, it's World War I era, so I can't confirm if it's seen war use or not, but it is World War I era, over 100 years old. Um, magazine release is right there. Kind of an old, just metal mag. Um, and, I mean, that's, that's really all there is to it. It's a 303 British is a bigger round. You can use it for hunting. And the only thing is, is back in the day, the stock here has been chopped off. It used to go out. And that is because they call it sporterizing a gun. Um, that's because a lot of these, after the wars, or there's just so many of them out there that they became very cheap for sport, um, for hunting or whatever. And by chopping the stock off, you kind of make it a lighter gun. So that unfortunately has been sporterized, but nonetheless, it is still an all original World War I era um, bolt action rifle. So I got a few more guns in the back if you want to, you want to see them? Okay. I will bring those out for you in just a moment. Alrighty, so I got a couple more rifles here for you, and then you can check out if you'd like. I'm gonna start off this section with this. This is a Savage Axis. This is chambered in decent size round, the 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, Nice little hunting gun if you'd like. Um, bolt action. Already has a scope on it. It's got a nice little uh, cheek rest. A little storage pouch, and it's got some rounds on the outside here if you need to reload real quick. But also got a nice uh, sling. So this is already ready to go if you want to go out and get some hunting in. While I'm on the topic of bolt actions, this is a 222. Um, this is another Savage with a much bigger This is a 6x18 optic. Now, 222 is either a planking round, if you just want to kind of shoot with it, um, or what you can do is hunt like smaller creatures if you want. You're not going to take out like a deer with this, but you can do like small rooms. Um, or smaller critters with something like this. Um, but we do have that. 
Now, I showed you um, some AK styles, and this is so. This is a Romanian Dragonoff. This is kind of an AK, kind of not. This is chambered in a very big 762 by 54 R. We have a very long barrel. Um, vis visual, yeah, original optic. Um, nice wood furniture. Cycles just like an AK. And the serial number and the optic has a serial number on it. Um, so if you look at the serial number, this gun is from 1975, which, if you're curious about uh, Romanian Dragonoffs, this is one of the first runs they did. And so this is truly made in Romania and imported into the States. Um, so, kind of cool, but more of your long range shooting if you'd like to do that. Got a little cap on the end here. And the, the old funky. I guess that's a sunshade kind of thing. Um, but it's another, it's an iconic weapon. Um, fun to shoot. And overall, if you have the money for something like this, uh, it definitely will not disappoint you. Next up is this. Now, if you don't know anything, I can educate you real quick about the AR platform. I've been showing you AR-15s. This is an AR-10, and it might be hard to tell, but the lower receiver is a lot bigger, and that is because we have 308 in here. This is a good medium range rifle setup. Um, we have a nice 20 inch barrel with a funny, got a nice big muzzle brake on the end. We got bipod which extends more than that if you needed to. Upgraded Magpul grip. Um, this is an aero precision mainly build. Ampidextrous charging handle. And this is a loose um, stock on the back here. And this comes down and becomes a monopod. Cheek rest rises. The butt pad can go back and forth. And like I said, overall, if you want to do some, uh, like, good, like, good for, like, six, eight hundred yard shots, um, just for some, some fun, like, long range planking, um, so definitely a, a solid build for you. So... side for you. Now, I'm sure you've seen the advertisements, and it's definitely a gun that brings in a lot of attention. I usually hang it on the back wall, and I advertise with this gun a lot because it brings in a lot of attention. Um, People will come in just to see this gun, to touch it, um, to just, just see it in person. And I'm assuming you're no exception to that. So I'll let you get up and close and personal with it. Um, like I said, it definitely brings people into the shop. Uh, 
that's a no exaggeration. And that is this monstrosity. This is the Barrett M82 A1, um, and like I said, a lot of people, they remember this from like their childhood video games, or it, it's still being used in the military, and um, a lot of people, you don't even have, well, a lot of people who are gun, gun guys know what this is. But even if you're not, you can look at this and appreciate it. It is chambered in, and we do have some back there, 50 BMG, which is, it's one of the largest calibers um, we can sell to civilians. It is, how do I word this? It's probably the biggest caliber that's commonly sold. Um, bigger than this, you're looking at like 600 or 700 Nitro Express, which, while it is a bigger round, like 700 is 70 caliber, and this is 50 caliber, they are extremely expensive guns. Um, the 700 Nitro, you're looking at probably two hundred and fifty to three hundred thousand dollars for the gun, and yeah, it's a uh, it's a lot of money. So yes, it's a bigger round, but in all of America, there's not that many seven hundred nitros. So all this gun is going to set you back a little bit. They are out there and. Um, and let me put it this way, it's an absolute blast to shoot, no pun intended. Uh, it, I don't even know where to start, so we got the monopod and the bipod, um, carry handle, which makes it easier to carry. I will... Try to show you the front here. We have the 29 inch barrel, huge muzzle brake on the end, which really blasts uh, all that gas back. It is 33 pounds, so it's very heavy. Holds 10 rounds of 50 BMG. Um, we got a massive scope if you want to and you have an area to shoot it, um, you could stretch this out to a mile easily. And overall, just, you can also adjust it. There's a little knob back here for, um, overall, like I said, if you wanna do really long range shooting, if you just want a gun to impress people, um, got the little pop caps on the front and on the back. Um, like I said, if you just want a gun to impress people, like I said, the cool thing with this is if you are a gun person or understand guns, you know what this is immediately by looking at it. If you don't, um, you can still look at the sheer size of this thing. I believe it's 59 inches total. The barrel's 29 by itself. You can just appreciate this. Um, but it's it's a lot of gun. It is a whole lot of gun. I'm gonna set this off to the side real quick.
Alrighty, so I've shown you everything that I have in stock here right now. Um, if there's any gun you want, there's plenty of websites. Uh, there's Palmetto, State Armory, Grab a Gun, Classic Firearms. I mean, tons of websites. That's just a few that I can name. Um, you can order them and ship them. They can have, uh, ship it right to me. If there's anything in stock that you want to see, let me know. Like I said, I have plenty of ammo in the back. Um, and um, if there's any accessories, so like some of the guns had lights on them already. I mean, almost any of these guns I can put like night sights on. I could put a laser, a light. I can buy you a holster. They make extended mags for almost all of these guns. I mean, it's really up to you. Your creativity is sort of the, the only limit. Um, but yeah, you can peruse around a little more. We have some accessories over that way, and just let me know. Um, like I said, like I don't have any like lever actions in stock, but if there's, if there's something you're interested in, just let me know. And either I can order it, you can order it and ship it here, doesn't matter. Happy to help. And I appreciate your time. And I guess I will see you next time. Peace.